go. Um, Paul George deserves some recognition for what he's done this season. I mean, no, I bet that dude was at home later on that day and seeing. Uh, was it Paul George hit forty five that night, or was it against Utah? Utah, right? yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet he went home that night and was like, "See, this is what I'm talking about right here." Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> was that was a that was a triple? No, a double, double overtime. overtime. Yeah, man, man. Yeah, and I and I and I and I wish I stayed up for that, man. Um, man, yeah, I, I definitely didn't watch it. Man, I I, I watched none of it, yeah. and and I kind of was like, "Oh, it's a regular season game. It's it's just two teams and low key." I want that to be the first round matchup again, mm -hmm. like it was last year. Yeah. I, I think the Thunder have something to prove to these guys. But I tell you what, man, if if it takes, if it's gonna take double overtime to beat the Utah Jazz, I don't know. I, I don't know, Thunder. I look, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have to get it together. Cause there's no, there's no way. What was the score of that game? Like 140 something to 140 something? 145, 148, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. So. The, the Jazz scoring 140 something uh, the points. Jazz, I mean, I, the Jazz, let, let me just say this. Obviously, the Jazz ain't um, one of the top scoring teams in the league. They're not. At least, <laughs> at least not on paper. I don't know what the stats say. They're not. Uh, <laughs> um, but they're not a stars team, man. And um, that, that white boy. Uh, Ingles, I like that white boy, man. I, I like him too. I like that white boy. Man. I like him too. Um, I, don't, I don't know if he's gonna be the dude that. Well, he, he got little handles. Yeah, man. I don't know if he's gonna be the dude that take you over the top or nothing. But I, I, I like that dude, man. That's a that's a that's a smooth cat, man. He played he played he played mm. ball. He I, played ball. I like some of their role players. I, I, I like Rudy Gobert in the middle. I like Derek Favors. Um, who else is on that squad? I mean, obviously, Mitchell, obviously Mitchell. Donovan I mean, Mitchell yeah. is the is the star of that franchise right now, and Jay Crowder coming off the bench doing his thing. They got some. They got some they got like pieces. rough guys. They got some guys that you know get in your face, do what they got to do, get scrappy, but scoring one hundred and forty something points on a really good defense, by the way. They the Thunder. Seen. Have a really good defense this year. They will coach for certain. The Jazz. For they are. Certain. They, they are for certain. They will coach. Yeah, they think. I don't. Um, are. Yeah, that that's for certain. They they just might have the Thunder's number, and and, and I think that's what you know. They huh? just might have the Thunder's number. Oh my God, that that that's terrible if yeah. they do. I um, I don't know. Is it that that's terrible if they? Why do, do you say that? Um, Paul George, I think, is having a better season than last year. For certain. Um, I remember we talked about kind of the mellow effect. Mm -hmm. On the Thunder, yeah. we thought that Mello was holding this team back. Yeah. And once you saw him not in a lineup, it seemed like Westbrook and Paul George were able to get into a groove. Yeah. Steven Adams was still doing his thing. And then they still didn't have much of a bench last year. Now they get Shooter from the Hawks. Shooter can run an offense yeah. while Westbrook is on the bench mm -hmm. getting some much needed rest. Um, and, and people that don't understand why Westbrook's shooting, per se, is off this season, it's because he's not on the floor as much. Yeah. In, in my opinion, yeah. from what I see. Um, so you you have all these things. I think they're a better basketball team than last year, given Paul George is getting better, Westbrook is being a little more efficient in terms of not, you know, tiring himself out mm -hmm. throughout games. Mm -hmm. And you've got somewhat of a bench. And I, and I forgot to mention... Um, Jerry and Grant. Jerry and Grant, yeah. Yeah, he he's he's a good player. Yeah. He's he's a real good player. So and and I don't know when Roberson comes back from the injury, but I would suspect once he gets back, he's gonna show up that defense as good as what they are right now. Yeah. To me, this is a better basketball team. And if they're still having problems beating the Utah Jazz and I don't want to say convincingly, because again, we we respect the Jazz and what they do and how well coached they are. But if you gotta go through two overtime periods to mm -hmm. beat this team, I, I, don't, I, know, I, 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 I don't know. I hear you. I think I, I don't would, know what to say. I that. think I would give more credit to the Jazz than I would slighting the the Thunder. Uh, sl slightly. At at some point, though, the superstars got to become superstars at some point. The meaning, best players, meaning the best player, they say the best players got to win the series. Or they always win the series. Sometimes it doesn't work that way depending on matchups yeah, and things sure. like that. But 
the Thunder have two superstars. Mm-hmm. Mm. I thank God for the haters.